you've been, uh, you were nominated, obviously, for the Ego Educator Challenge. This is something that when your teacher goes beyond uh, just the normal and gets you guys involved in being uh, economically friendly and, and do things that enrich your life, like gardening and the sort of passions that you have, uh, that's very important about going green and just doing what you can to save your environment. And she has done that, hasn't she? Let's give her a round of applause. Ms. Wallace, when you think of Ms. Wallace or when you think of uh, uh, the ideal teacher, like, well, if I could build a teacher, they pretty much would look and be, you know, if not, um, if not the, the replica, very similar to Ms. Wallace. We have a garden club, it's Ruby Young Garden Club. We come out after school and we work from 4 to 5.30 and we just plant and weed and harvest all sorts of good stuff and the kids love seeing how things are actually grown you know it's one thing to see it in a textbook but it's something totally different when you get to pull it and eat it we've propagated plants we've started plants from seed uh, so I think the kids are getting a pretty good kind of overall feel for how to plant vegetables and flowers and it's just exciting earlier in the year when school first started we had our lettuces and arugula and all that good stuff growing we went and we did a, a salad hopefully next year we'll have a barn possibly a greenhouse so that we can start even more seedlings that way. We hope to have chickens um, so we can see another part of that, another life cycle going on. If it starts at an early age and it just starts here, goes to middle school, then by the time they're in high school there's so much more they're going to know. I'm assuming that even by the time they get to high school there are some of those, not steps that you can sidestep, but you can take it to a different level. Uh, we all have to have farmers to grow the different things. We, all, we have to have ranches to raise the beef. That's not going away. So you have to have people in that field to be able to do that. So I'm hoping through Prairie View A&M, because I know we partner with those in the Texas AgriLife Extension Service, that we have kids just, you know, going straight into that field and will be represented. Hopefully they'll all be from DeSoto. That would be nice.